but the world recognizes Larry Holmes as its heavyweight champion. All right, who is this man, Carl Williams, who calls himself the truth? He uh, has had one big, big opportunity in his young professional career, and that was against Larry Holmes, and he made the most of it. Started late, but had an outstanding amateur career before he turned pro. In his first international tournament, the 1981 North American Championships, Carl faced Cuban Roberto Gomez and scored a sensational first-round knockout. Later that year, he won the World Cup title and turned pro in 1982, winning 16 straight and a title shot against Larry Holmes. What was expected to be just another win for Holmes turned into a struggle for the champion as Williams showed a jab that was quicker and more accurate than the champs and an overall boxing ability that had Holmes on the ropes. Then in the late rounds, Holmes staged a rally that allowed him to keep his title as Williams appeared to run out of gas. But despite his first defeat, Carl had established himself in the minds of many as a future heavyweight champion. We asked Carl in looking back if he felt he had been ready to win the title. No, I don't think so. I could, if I would have beat Larry Holmes, fine. But I don't know. It's, it, it remains to be seen how I would have uh, all the hoopla and all the beating Larry Holmes and all the stuff would have taken me. You know, maybe this loss did a great deal for me. And I was able to sit back and reevaluate a lot of things behind this loss here. As he prepared himself at his training camp in New York's Catskill Mountains for his first fight since the title shot, Carl says he understands he can't wait for another world championship opportunity to fall in his lap, that he must keep active, work hard on his conditioning, train to refine his great natural athletic skill. Veteran trainer Carmen Graciano began working with Carl before the Holmes fight, and in the short time he's been with him, Graciano says he appreciates what makes Carl Williams such a tremendous prospect among all the heavyweight contenders today. Well, the great reflexes, great coordination, yeah, he's a tremendous athlete. You know, this guy could have been a great baseball player, a great football player, a great basketball whatever he wanted to do, he could have done, because he's got the innate qualities to do anything, plus the mentality that goes with that. Tough. Very tough. Carl knows he's been blessed with exceptional physical gifts, but says there's a lot more involved. I have natural ability, but I work hard at my natural ability. I enhance my natural ability by the drive and my determination. Anybody that knows Carl Wynn will always say, but this kid works hard. Take him out. Take him out, Jeff. Ah. 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 Outside the gym, Carl Williams works hard preparing himself mentally for his chosen profession. I think about boxing a lot, how to perfect myself as far as the boxing is concerned, you know, because this is my life. This is it. If I fail like this, I blow my one big chance of being what I really, really want to be. And that's the heavyweight champion of the world. Well-spoken young man, Carl Williams, and he really popped into prominence with his 15-round showing against Larry Holmes. Larry called him a tough young man and definitely a, an absolute contender. As Larry put it, if he cleans up his act a little, and that means perhaps a little more consistency. His opponent today is Jesse Ferguson, a native of North Carolina, turned pro after serving in the Marines, where, in fact, he learned to box. Moved over to Philadelphia, where he felt his fight career would accelerate for him, and it has. He has won 13 in a row. He won the ESPN tournament earlier this year here in Atlantic City. So he is ready for a considerable opportunity himself today. Jesse Ferguson against Carl Williams. It's a 10-rounder. Gives up three years, three inches, three quarters of a pound, and five and a half inches in reach. So the pluses are on the side of Carl Williams. But it is a big opportunity for Jesse Ferguson. The referee is Larry Hazard. The judges are Phil Newman, Tom Kazmarek, and Frank Brunette. The referee does not vote in New Jersey. The manager of Ferguson and trainer is Bowie Fisher. Carmen Graziano is the man training Call the Truth Williams. And here is round one scheduled for ten. Left hook is the best weapon, perhaps, for Ferguson. Straight, hard, left jab, the best weapon for Carl Williams. Round system for scoring, supplemental five-point must system in New Jersey. Standing eight count is in effect. The three knockdown rule may or may not apply. That is at the discretion of the referee. And the doctor can stop it and cannot be overruled in the state of New Jersey. 
Anderson in the dark trunks. Carl Williams wearing the white. And they open up at a heady pace. In the fight against Larry Holmes, when Carl Williams seemed to tire after eight rounds, Holmes was particularly effective to the body. And it would appear that Ferguson has that in mind. Ferguson has battered some. Here is the blow that started the problem. The left hook to the body, and then as he came up, Williams found him with that right hand to the side of the head, and it took the better part of a minute before Jesse Ferguson was able to shake off the effects of it. And as he sits into the corner now, and uh, Bowie Fisher and company talk to him, he looks a bit weary. A couple of other major headlines today in sports. Bill Matlock, third baseman in Pittsburgh Pirates, has been traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers for three players to be named later. That is a significant trade, particularly for Matlock and the Dodgers. And Danny Marino today, the Miami Dolphins quarterback at a news conference, confirmed that he is going back to camp hoping that his contract problems can be resolved. But he is going back in the training camp, trying to get ready for the start of the season with the Dolphins. He's been holding out, as most of you know. We go now to round number two. Number one belonged to Carl Williams. Jesse Ferguson figures to be more effective if he can work inside. So far, Williams has denied him that privilege. Yeah, and that straight right hand by Carl Williams, and it's quick. There's that stiff left jab, and Ferguson took it flush in the face. When Carl Williams was fighting as an amateur, and I recall him, he was much like Tyrell Biggs. He would fly around. combination. And Jesse Ferguson right now looks a little tentative. Ferguson 
Anderson came out as he had said that he wanted to do and went straight up. Oh, he wanted to take the fight to him rather than sitting outside letting William pepper him with that very strong left hand. And it looks like Ferguson still wants to do that. But he is certainly more wary now of the short right from Carl Williams. There's a big left hook Ferguson, followed by a right to the side of the head, but Williams runs away from the rest of it. That was the best punch of the fight so far by Ferguson. Jesse Ferguson in the dark trunks and Carl the Truth Williams in white trunks. Two of the many young heavyweights looking for their chance to wear the title. Eventually, we, one would assume down the road, we will have a succession of fights that will give us, hopefully, one champion. That has not been the style of late. Ferguson now starting to come back some working to the body and in trying to hook to the head. He missed to the head, but he landed to the body. Oh, hard right hand drags Ferguson into the room. First it was a left, and then the twisting right hand knocked him back into the room. The referee Larry Hazard did not see it as a, something akin to a knockdown, so he did not give Ferguson a standing aid count. But Williams now opening up on him in the corner. Hard left hook. Williams is in trouble. He's down. It was a left hook by Jesse Ferguson. And the man Whistling left hook nailed him flush on the jaw. And Carl took the eight count. Williams looks all right now, but you know inside of him there's more respect than again the left hook by Ferguson. Ferguson with a big round, a hard right hand by Jesse Ferguson. And he's putting the pressure on Carl Williams. That has caused Carl Williams all the trouble. We're in round number three. It's belonged to Ferguson and that whistling left hook just this that time. And I mean to tell you that punch has some power in it. The right is short, but the combination that follows lands on the face of Jesse Ferguson. Both fighters look a little weary right now. Big bomb so far. Ferguson covering in the corner. He was covering in the corner a while ago when he let go with a big one. That put Williams down. Williams with a hard right hand. Another hard right, a hard left, and a combination by Paul Williams, and Ferguson gives ground. To Jesse Ferguson, who did in that round what he said he hoped to do. Paul Williams looks all right as he comes out to answer the bell for round four. Upset left out. That's his advantage in his reach and the quickness and hand speed that he possesses. Moving a little more here in the fourth round, too, after being decked once and almost put down for a second knockdown in that third round. Right hand in the 
corner, but seems to shake it off. Comes back with his left hook, and Williams took part of it all. Hey, one thing, I don't believe Ferguson can, is skilled enough yet in his career to sit there in the corner and try to cover all of the weaponry of Carl Williams. He's too quick. He has very good leverage, too. To the body goes Ferguson.
beginning by Ferguson in that fifth round. Boom. Boy, Carl Williams just spun around and went down. And now we go into round number six. Despite the two big left hooks by Ferguson, I am of the opinion that probably Williams is leading in the fight and New Jersey is scoring three rounds to two. Shakes his head. He's throwing more punches. But Ferguson seems to be throwing the bigger punches. Ferguson is the dark trunks and Williams and White. Williams' expression really doesn't change much, even when he has been tagged. And you can see it in his eyes. The first left hook, his eyes just spun around. On the other hand, Ferguson, virtually impassive. You know he's been hurt, but he has shown nothing. Links on that left jab that spun him right now. and it hurt him. We have to alert our local stations that we will, at the end of this round, take a station break. Missing with the right hand, Williams, after digging to the body. The left hand advertised as the primary weapon for Carl Williams. He has landed it a lot in this fight. But it has not impacted as much as some thought it might. Hard right to the body by Carl Williams. Ferguson a little late that time getting his hands up. Seems a little bit weary at this point. There always comes a time in every contest on almost anything where you Got to look to that second win. And perhaps this is the time for Jesse Ferguson. We're in round number six. Twenty seconds to go in round six. They, these two youngsters are not sparing the horses. Oh, they're spending everything they've got. We'll be back with more ABC's Wide World of Sports after this. You can and Jesse Ferguson at 28, learned to box in the Marine. A combination by Carl Williams. It's a round system scoring with a supplemental five-point plus here in New Jersey. And despite the big, big punches by Jesse Ferguson, I have the feeling that Williams is ahead because of the round scoring system, perhaps by as much as four to two. He simply throwing more punches than Jesse Ferguson. And again in the fifth round. At least Williams has shown his resiliency to come back from being nailed by a big punch. Both the left hooks that put him down were big punches. think much about pain, but he knows that when he is hurt, it strengthens his resolve, and he has shown that. Every time he has been stuck, he has come thundering back. He did right there. Oh, good right hand by Williams. A good right to the body. Now Ferguson looks trouble. Fly out with the left. And late with it. Perhaps a sign of fatigue. Seventh round. Be feeling the pace. Ferguson looks like he wouldn't mind posting just a tad here to get his win.
Quincy Ferguson right against the rope. Trying to take away any leverage from Ferguson in that big left hook. Inside a half minute to go in round seven. Been a bit of a flat round for Ferguson. He's thrown three of those in this round and missed with all three. However, a tough fight. Do you Number eight. Heavyweights, Carl Williams in white and Jesse Ferguson in the dark trunks. And Ferguson now showing some signs of fatigue. Because Williams has thrown far and away the greater number of punches. Three big left hooks by Ferguson have been pretty much the story for him in this fight. And it's a round system scoring which would seemingly give Williams a considerable edge at this point. Next Monday night here on ABC, the college football season. CFA football opens on ABC. We'll be in Athens, Georgia, along with 83,000 other folks for the Georgia Bulldogs and the Alabama Crimson Tide. The Southeastern Conference goes, and it should be an exciting way to spend Labor Day night. So join us at 8 Eastern time, and then the following Monday, the 9th of September, we'll have the opener of NFL Monday Night Football on ABC, and it matches up. One of the great traditional rivalries in the National Football Conference the Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. That move right there, I think, shows you that Jesse Ferguson is tired. He's taken a lot of punches. This is round eight. Looking for the big one, and Carl Williams controlling the center of the ring and picking away at
tools of Williams. He's a good athlete. He has very good feet. And you fight a lot with your feet. A little portion of your, your fighting is done with your feet. Again. Very good balance. Ferguson now backing up, backing up, backing up. Giving up real estate. Rubbing at his eye. And a hard, hard right hand. Doubled up by Red Williams. And Ferguson rubbing at his eye. He's right above me. I can't see if he's quite or not. Right now, Ray Will uh, Carl Williams has got Jesse Ferguson pinned in the corner. Larry Hazard right there with him watching it. Larry doing a good job. Not obvious except when he is needed. Now Ferguson comes ambling out of the corner. Having lost some of the charge. It's been a dominant round for Carl Williams. Two wide. Jesse now has a mouse under that uh, lump under that left eye. And Williams is just hopping away out. Pretty good left hook that Williams threw there. He landed on the side of the head of Ferguson. Ferguson trying to cover it. The right hand that puts him down. Jesse Ferguson bombarded in the corner. And finally a right hand put him down. He's very, very tired of the bell. Saves him. So he'll come to his corner and try to last out number 10. But right now, Carl Williams is in total control. This was more an accumulation of punishment than the one punch. There's the punch that put him down. But throughout the ninth round, Ferguson had been absorbing punishment from the flashing hands of Carl Williams, and finally he just simply succumbed to it. But fortunately for Ferguson, it came at the close of the round. Now they're working on that lump under his eye, trying to keep it from puffing up and impairing his vision in the final three minutes of this fight. Ben Hume will bring you the latest news, World News Saturday. That will include, of course, the latest information on Hurricane Elena, which is beginning to pound away at the coast of Florida. It's already caused an awful lot of trouble down there. But that will have the latest for you. This is the final round, number 10. Ferguson will have to knock it out to win. Williams is in control. was a wicked right to the side of the head and Jesse trying to find the energy, trying to find the concentration to stand and he can't do it and he is stopped in the 10th round, counted out. I'm not sure they'll call it a knockout, it may go down as a TKO, but Paul the Truth Williams has won the fight. He did not have the energy not have the concentration to stand direct and the fight is stopped and I think they will call it a stoppage. Here it is, the end of it. Very tired and down at the end of round nine. And then backing into the corner, tried to flurry to the body. Here Carl Williams nails him with that right hand to the side of the head and Jesse went down hard. Just barely got up at the count of nine and Referee Larry Hazard said, that's enough. And they put a stool in that neutral corner. And the doctors immediately come into the corner to determine if he is all right. So he seems to be okay now as he talks to them, nods his head, and then walks back to his corner. But he absorbed a tremendous amount of punishment. And it does go down as a TKO, 223, round number 10. As Carl the Truth Williams comes off the loss to Larry Holmes and scores an impressive win today over Jesse Ferguson. Have you driven about your resiliency, the ability to come back after absorbing a big punch, that doubt has been erased. Oh, no question, Keith. Uh, Jesse Ferguson is very game. Uh, uh, 
he, he was throwing left hooks, he was throwing wide punches, and I was keeping my left hand, my right hand, I should say, very low, and uh, I should have been picking it up. He came over the top and caught me several times, but one time over here in the corner, I did slip. He did make contact, but I was in the midst of slipping also. You know, so I didn't really think that uh, Larry should have called that a knockdown, but he did anyway. You feel that uh, you're satisfied with the way it went? It was decisive for you? Well, first of all, I didn't get a chance to loosen up in the back. That came down here, and they brought me right out. So I really, I came into the ring cold, and everybody knows when a fighter's cold, he can come out here and get decked. The same thing happened with Quick Tiller. I came out cold, and he decked me. But when I loosen up, I'm a child of different fighters, not to make any excuses, because I did, what I, I did my job. I did basically what I had to do. I took him out. Well, you went 15 with the champion. You had a strong outing today. You must be about ready to, you and Carmen, to cash a big payday. Oh, definitely. Probably sometime next year. You know, fighting a Larry Holmes, it's really hard to come back and fight a, a guy like Ferguson, you know, but I take all opponents as, as it was a championship fight. But unfortunately, you know, these things happen. It's a part of the game. And like a true like a true young lion, I got up and I went the distance and took him out. Congratulations. Good luck to you, Carl. Thank you. Uh this evening.